What up folks, welcome back to UltraZilla Toys and today I have a review of the WWE Battle Pack 45 The Revival. So yeah, it's an UltraZilla Toys main event and as you saw at the top, we got a battle pack. We got a The Revival. Now these battle packs, if you don't know, are the uh, Mattel WWE basic figures, but they're still pretty decent. Still big figures when you get the basic figures, you know, with pretty decent head sculpts. They're just missing some of the articulation of the elite figures, um, but they're definitely good to mix in with your elite collection. It's not like, you know, a Star Wars three and three quarter and a Black Series. You know, it's it's very different. They're on the same level. Uh, just with, you know, various levels of articulation and cost. Uh, I got these guys at Ringside Collectibles during their Black Friday sale for a super, super, super ultra cheap. Um, less than the cost of one basic figure, so that was awesome. And these guys came back on Raw this week uh, after spending a few months on the DL once again. The Revival have really uh, caught the injury bug since being called up. From NXT, and this particular battle pack is in their NXT duds. Um, it's an NXT battle pack. There is another battle pack, which I think has the same head sculpt. I could be wrong. If you do know that, please let me know. Uh, and I do know that they have different colored um, trunks. I think they're all black, as, and I think uh, Dawson has black boots. Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder. Uh, really cool. I really like this tag team. And if you're like, why am I rambling about on this? Uh, just to let you know, once again, we're still early on in these Saturday night uh, reviews. Um, the whole purpose of doing UltraZilla Toys main event wrestling reviews, wrestling toy reviews, is to talk a little wrestling as well. You know, I like to get in a little discussion about the subject matter. I think it's a, something a little different to do. Uh, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I'll say it once again. So I'll keep saying it. No problem. You know, and uh, I encourage you guys to talk about the revival or talk about anything going on in wrestling uh, down below in the comments. I will answer each and every comment. So, um, yeah. That's that's all I got to say about that. But I really love this tag team. I hope they get on track. I uh, hope this, you know, latest comeback is it. You know, they're up on the main roster. And I hope WWE pushes them a little bit. Because Raw is, like, severely lacking in tag teams. So here's hoping they're, you know, they do their thing. They're super awesome. Complete throwback. Kind of like a Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Four Horsemen deal, Arn Anderson, uh, Oli Anderson, Tully Blanchard, whatever. Whichever combo of those three men, uh, these guys are the epitome of that style of wrestling. So very, very cool. We're going to start out looking at Scott Dawson here. That's... Who do I got? That's, Venom is in the way. Head sculpt is great on Scott Dawson here. Really, really nice. I love his chops and mustache. Um, I forget what the style of mustache is called, but yeah, it's nice. It looks good. That looks exactly like him. So great job there. Really nice head sculpt. It's painted decently, so can't complain about anything about the head. It's really good. Um, body is pretty basic, you know, like... I don't know if these guys share. I don't know if a lot of these guys share the same bodies, but they definitely, I think these do. I think that's the exact same body, guys. <laughs> so that might be a thing that happens here. Um, but it looks good, you know. It's sufficiently muscled without being too overly muscled, so that looks good. You got a nice little, you know, generic el elbow pad. And the hand is painted to resemble, like, you know, bandages there. A little black strap there. The tights. Uh, I can't. That's a SD, but it's broken up by the sculpt, unfortunately. And you know, uh, the tampo printing from Mattel is usually top notch, and I've always said that. Um, for real, for real. Say what you will about Mattel toys. Tampo printing is really good on them. 
Um, for, that's just an unfortunate spot. On the back of the tights though, as you can see, this is kind of broken up a little bit, but it comes together a little bit <laughs> on this buttocks. Uh, the Revival, you can see how nice they do their tampo printing. Really good. If you're wondering uh, what's tampo printing, tampo graphic printing, it's a process of uh, being able to do stuff like this. Let's just say that. <laughs> so this is not just hand painted, it's put on. So there you go, the shorts are just painted on. And uh, yeah, the boots are nice. I like the boots a lot. I like the flames on his boots. Looks really good. So very nice in the looks department there. Uh, articulation, heads on the boulder and can go up a little bit. Swivels, swivel hinge at the elbow. Upper bicep rotation there, single jointed elbow. Hard to do on this side. You get better motion there. Hinge, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist, swivel at the thigh, single joint at the knee, and then you got a boot cut and an ankle hinge. So that's it. But you know what? It's not bad. Again, this is like pretty decent, I'd, I'd say, for a basic figure. Uh, and I've said that a couple times already on uh, my reviews. Because this is like the third battle pack I've, I've done. So, and I think the battle packs so far have been the... That's not true. I have gotten, I think, a sting or two in the battle packs, but I haven't reviewed them quite yet. So, let's take a look at Dash Wilder here. Head sculpt is okay. I don't think it's as good as Dawson's, but it's decent enough. I think his head sits too low on the neck joint, though, unfortunately. I mean... He does, he's got a squat like features, but like not like that. So eh, the beard's okay. It's a little off, but it isn't so bad. Again, for a basic figure, I'd, I'd take it. Body is the same. He does have some tampo graph printed, tampo printed tats right there underneath his arm on his uh, ribs there. He got striped. Different striped, that's pretty cool. Um, wristbands. This again is also broken up, the DW. But the Revival looks good on the back. Same here as there, and the knee pads. And he's got nice silver and black boots. The silver being striped, it's pretty cool. Very, very nicely done. So very nice boots on these guys, for sure. Um, same thing with the articulation, heads on a ball joint, hinge swivel, swivel up here, single jointed elbow, hinge swivel at the wrist, swivel, swivel, single joint, swivel, hinge. So there you go. Dash and Dawson, Battle Pack 45. They're pretty decent, say yeah. Love their theme music also. And I hope these guys, um, you know, have a little run now. They're definitely gonna be tag team champs at some point. You know, it's just a matter. They're more of a SmackDown tag team though, guys. Trade them to SmackDown, <laughs> please. I really feel like they would do so much better on SmackDown, so. Here's hoping, you know, you never know. Um, I think it's time for the Usos to come to Raw. So um, maybe a little switch is in order. What do you guys think? Should uh, should SmackDown and Raw do a... Uh, they're going to do a shake-up soon. So, you know, let me know what you think. Should these guys go to SmackDown? Usos come to Raw? What do you think about that? All right, so, and that's it. That's all I have uh, for this UltraZilla Toys main event ahead of Christmas. This is my... Final review. I was hoping to do another review earlier today, but you know, Christmas family, it's very hard to do. So I was able to get down here tonight. I'm planning to film some more reviews after this for post Christmas. Not going to have any reviews tomorrow or on Christmas Day, but I will have some videos. I have a um, haul video, BBTS haul video that I've already filmed that will go up in the morning. And then. Um, 
planning to film some sort of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day haul video. I'm not sure how I'm doing it. I have some ideas, but we shall see how it goes, all uh, right? Uh, and I'm not sure exactly when that's gonna be up. And of course, I will have my uh, giveaway um, winner video coming sometime Christmas Day, probably the latter part of the day. All right, and that's all I got. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, Merry Christmas and peace out. Peace. No flips, just fists.